all for coming to our last preview show of Heart of Fire. We hope you all enjoyed it, and we'd really like to say that we're so excited for opening night. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce the mastermind behind this operation, writer, director, and my good friend, Roscoe DeMille. Wow. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. This show wouldn't be possible without all of your guys' support. I'd also like to thank the cast and crew who worked on the project, and I'm so, so excited for opening night. I'd also like to extend a very special thank you to our lead actress, Victoria Davis. This girl has been the absolute backbone of this entire production, and more importantly, my rock through it all. Honey, these past few months have been some of the best of my entire life. You're the reason I get out of bed each morning, and you push me to be better every single day. And there's not a single person I would want to spend every waking moment with. So, with that being said, will you make me the happiest man alive and spend the rest of your life with me? For those who couldn't tell, that was a yes. Let's get another round of applause for this beautiful couple. Mr. DeMille, did everything go as planned? Yes, sir. She said yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thrilled to hear you say that. Congratulations. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> oh, so how did previews go? Pretty well. Uh, I'd say we're pretty much ready for opening night. Yeah, Max was saying there were tons of people coming up to him praising the show. He was even saying there's a possibility for a tour in a year or so if things keep going this well. Yeah, I mean, I had people coming up to me and they had nothing but good things to yeah. say, so I can definitely see that. Mm. Um, actually, Jeff, I have something upstairs if you want to come pick it up. Of course, sir. It'd be my pleasure. Great. You know, I offer you a drink, but I don't know which box has the liquor in it. <laughs> I'm sorry about all this mess. The moving company isn't coming for another two days. No worries. I remember when me and my wife were going through the same thing. Oh, come on, F. Jack. I won't have you. We'll take a look at something. <laughs> you might take quite an interest to it, actually. <sighs> this is amazing, Mr. DeMille. Open it up. You didn't have to do that. My daughter's gonna be so excited <laughs> to see this. Trust me, it's the least I can do for you putting up with me all summer. <sighs> well, it was my pleasure. <sighs> I ought to be getting out of here. Don't wanna leave the wife waiting too long. We'll see you tomorrow, Jeffrey. Oh, and if I don't see you before the show tomorrow, break a leg, Miss Davis. Thank you, Jeffrey. show I was in a few years ago. Not a lot of people came out to the show and she wasn't supposed to either. You know, between the two jobs, like, how could she? But lo and behold, <laughs> there she was. And when we were taking our bows, I saw her three rows back with the biggest smile on her face. You know, she'd be so proud of everything you've become, right? I know, but it's just hard. Um, this was our last picture together. She was the only family I had left. Well, then you have me. I'm your family. I love you. I love you, too. I can't wait to start the rest of our lives together. <laughs> Me too. I feel like there's so much to do before the movers come. And yeah, that's why we have to get back to work. Oh, come on. You don't want to spend the whole night in my arms dancing? I would love nothing more. But we have to finish. And then you'll get another dance. No. Nah, if you don't want to dance with me, at least you can. Fine.
How about we watch one of your movies from the box? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Hmm. Pick whatever you want. Well, how about this one? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I've never seen it. I guess. What's this? Oh. Oh. Let me see. No, no, I don't really want to talk about it. Well, can you at least tell me who wrote it? It's, uh, it's from my dad. He, uh, he gave it to me as a present before I left for school. So why can't I read it? I don't know. It's, it's personal. You know everything about me. Please. <laughs> That wasn't so bad. You know, I actually grew up watching this movie with my father. Really? Um, you don't talk about your family too much. I don't know, it's hard. Ever since I moved across the country to go to film school, started making films, get caught up in the mumbo jumbo, just, I don't know, I felt really disconnected from him. This film, it always meant an awful lot to me. <laughs> Makes me think of him. You should try to visit them. Oh, they can't live too far from here, right? Eh, I don't know. It's been a while and I really don't want things to be weird, you know? I'll go with you. <laughs> That's probably not the best idea, babe. But I want to meet them. Uh, I don't know. It's no, just... but if you have the ability to get to be with them, I think you need to do it because when it's, it's gone. If you want to visit them so badly, we can go if that'll make you happy. It would make me happy. When I have kids down the line, when we have kids, I want them to have a big family. What's gonna happen next? Well, I don't wanna tell you. Come on, let's spoil the movie. <laughs> no, I, I mean with us. I'm signed on to my contract for another year, so I'm stuck here in New York. I, are you going back to LA? Well, you know, I figured I'd go out there and get some of my stuff and settle some affairs, and you know, then we could decide. I want you to stay here with me. I know you have your script that you've been working on, and I didn't bring it up in the car, but Matt's said that if our show is successful... Which it will be, come on. Then he'd love to have me on tour. Are you... That, that's amazing! <laughs> oh my God, are you gonna do it? I don't know. I, I mean, it's an amazing opportunity, yeah. but... I don't know, I don't want to make any no, decisions no, no, right no. now. How could you not want to do it? I know, it's great and all, but... What about us? I don't want to throw anything away. Hun, you're not throwing anything away, but by the time the tour comes, you and me will be married. Well, yeah, but... Look. If this is something you need to do, I'm here for you, okay? I'm always gonna be here for you. I know that, it's just, I've always wanted a family. Mm -hmm. So maybe if we can make it through this year, then we can decide about going to LA or doing the Look, tour. or I'm in start... no rush to get back, all right? And I haven't even heard back from Guy yet anyway. That's true. I've got a beautiful fiance that I need to be with. <laughs> we don't need to worry about the future right now. The script and the tour, they don't matter. The only thing that matters is you and me. Hmm. So what's so great about this movie anyway? What do you mean what's so great about this movie, hon? This is one of the greatest <laughs> films ever made. I know, I just, I don't get it. No, no, no. Well, Rick, he's in love with Ilsa, but she is back with Laszlo, and both of them are trying to get their letters of transit. Oh, yeah. And there's not a single guy on earth who can make playing chess against yourself seem cool, except for Humphrey Bogart. This film, it's got everything, babe. How could you? <laughs> oh, can I just take this for just a sec? Yeah, I'll just, I'll keep hacking. Okay. Yeah. Hey, guy, how you doing, man? You know, I wake up every morning, and I pinch myself, because I don't even believe it's real. <laughs> How are you, my friend? I'm all right, man. Me and Victoria, we're still gearing up for opening night. I presume you're still coming? Oh, of course I am. I would not miss that for the world. But I have some very important news that I'd like to tell you, my friend. Yeah, go for it. Shoot. So, I read your script, and I loved it. It, it is beautiful, my friend. I, where did you come up with such a good idea? Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I, I guess inspiration just struck me. <laughs> well, you know, I'm glad that little hiatus in New York uh, did some good for you. On any note, when are you getting back here in LA? Oh, actually, I was gonna call you. Uh, Victoria and I just got engaged. Mazel tov! Hey, when you ask me to be your best man, 
which I know you will, and you know I'll, I'll accept it. Um, let's make it formal. How about that? Little wine, little cheese. How about charcuterie boards? I know, I know. We were in the theater, and I just. Oh, uh, one, one second, my friend. Back to the script. Um, when do you plan on getting back here, uh, making some movies? <laughs> I uh, might just have to put things on hold for a bit. Interesting. Can we not talk about this right now, man? I'm, can't you just be happy for me and leave it at that? <laughs> well, I see you've changed since getting to New York. What? How? Well, you lost your edge. Roscoe, I knew. He'd stop at nothing to make his masterpiece. I I'm still passionate about the script. It's just I have other priorities right now in my life. And speaking of, I should probably get back to her. OK, OK, but before you go, I got big news. OK, what? I'm not the only one who loved your script. You know who read it? No, no clue. Ask me, Rosser, ask me. Say, Guy, Guy, who read my script? Guy, who read my script? You know, I'm so glad you asked. You know, I passed it around to some higher up friends in Hollywood. Ends up in the hands of Oliver Simons. Yeah, I know your jaw's on the floor. Pick it up. The Oliver Simons, and guess what? He loved it even more than I did, baby. That, that's, that's amazing. And guess what? He wants to meet with you in two days in LA. Oh, that, that's the day after opening. Do you, do you know what this means for your career? You got the top producer in Hollywood drooling in the mouth over your script. He's willing to give you full creative control and anything you need to make this picture. Wow. It's insane. I know, it's amazing. Oh, I'm so happy he liked it. <laughs> Ross, I gotta know, are you all in on this? Right now? Yeah. Roscoe, ever since I met you, this is all you wanted. You, you want to be one of the greats. Yeah, but... Remember when you made your second film? <laughs> yeah, not a day goes by where I don't think about it. Well, the Roscoe I knew vowed to make a masterpiece to make up for his sophomore slump. Guy, that was a long time ago, man. Ross, that wasn't even a few months ago. Really? You are not thinking straight, my friend. This is your chance to right all your wrongs. It wasn't even that bad. Oh, I'm sorry, do you not remember locking yourself in your office for two months to finish this script? I mean, hell. You, you, you threw away your last marriage to make this film. And what, you want me to do it all again? I can't do that, okay? I'm not that same guy anymore. I, I know you want to be with this girl, okay? I know, I get it. But at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. Yeah, but what if she is what's best for me? Maybe, but what makes her any different than your ex-wife, huh? Me and her, we've got a, a real connection. Jesus, Roscoe, it's almost like you said that years ago when you married me. Oh, come on, I don't need to take this from you. Look, Yellow Brick Road, it's right in front of you, my friend. All you got to do is hop on, give the scarecrow a hand, and do a little jig and meet the wizard. Not every day, the great powerful Oz offers you literally whatever you could ask for. I know, I know, I know, but I, what about Victoria, man? I can't just leave her. I know, I know it's hard, but when somebody like this comes knocking at your door, you answer it and you let him in. Because guess what, if you don't, he's just gonna go to the next door. I, I mean, there's gonna be other producers though, right? We'll still be able to make the film. No, 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 this isn't just a film. This is your masterpiece. You wanna be one of the greats, this is the film that's gonna get you there. This film can take you to the next level. I, I, I don't understand why I can't just wait a year. Oliver Simons wants to meet with you in two days. He wants to start pre-production on this thing ASAP. You, you push this back, the offer's not gonna be on the table in a year. Look, I know. I, I know it, it's a difficult choice that I'm asking you to make, but think about it like this. If this connection you have with her is real, you can go a year without seeing each other. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, and when she's done with her contract, she could come to live with you in LA in a year. Everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I gotta know, are you getting on this flight in two days? Are you all in on this? I, I gotta talk. I gotta talk it over with her first, man. It's a big decision. Look, look, Roscoe. You're my best friend in the entire world. I just want 
what's best for you, and I really, I hate to see you miss out on an opportunity like that. I know, man. It's just, I, I gotta talk it over with her first. She's a big part of my life now. Okay. Well, you, you go and talk with her, and you get back to me by the end of the night. I got some stuff I gotta finish up with another client. I will see you at the show, my friend. <sighs> All right. I'll see you later, man. Who's that? It was Guy. Oh, is he excited to see our show tomorrow? Yeah, hmm. I think so. What was he calling you about? Well, uh, remember how I sent him over the script? Hmm. I thought he was just gonna look it over and give me his thoughts, but he sent it over to his higher up friends in Hollywood and somehow it ended up in the hands of Oliver Simons, one of the biggest film producers in the world. Yeah. He wants to produce the script and oh. he's pretty much given me full creative control. <laughs> Honey! That's amazing! I mean, are you going? I mean, how can you not? You have uh, to meet with him. There's just only one downside. He wants to meet with me the day after opening day to start pre-production immediately. Oh. Uh, look, I, I was talking about this with Guy, and I really think that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yeah, it seems so. Um, so are, are you are you going to do it? I don't know. Um, on one hand, I feel like it's an opportunity I'll never get back, but mm -hmm. on the other, I... Just like that, you're going to go? No. no uh... You're moving back to L.A. now? No, 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 no. Uh, you don't understand. Well, there's two tickets to fly to L.A. I, it seems like you're leaving it's me. It's not that simple, I promise. Then what? Because somehow I can't comprehend Look, it. Oliver Simons sent over the tickets so I can meet with him. I, I haven't even told him if I'm going yet. Okay, that's not how it seems. He, why would he send you plane tickets without knowing if you're coming? I don't know, okay? M maybe he's trying to entice me to come. Okay, but what about all the things you were saying before about, you know, staying here and figuring these things out together? I meant every word of it, hon. I, I want to be with you. Okay, then why are you throwing everything we have away right now? We move into our new apartment in two days. Yeah, and we'll have moving people to help us. And what about your lonely fiance who's gonna have to live there all by herself? Well, I mean, what about you? You, you were gonna leave too, you were gonna go on tour. <laughs> I would love to go on tour, but if that meant putting us on hold, I wouldn't consider it for a second. I'm not. You'll finish out your contract in a year and then you can move out to LA with me. And what, I just drop everything and come to LA? Well, what about me and you, the wedding? What about it? Well, does all of that have to get put on pause until you can make your movie? I don't understand why I can't wait a year. It's not about the year. We were supposed to figure these things out together. Wasn't that your idea? Yes. Well, it seems like you must have figured it all out when I dozed no, off. No, no, it's not like that, though. I'll make good money from this film, and then you and me, we can really start our lives together. Well, why do we have to wait? I wanted to start now. Because this is something I have to do. Yeah, and what about us starting a family? When I finish, you and I will be married by then, and then we can talk about kids. It's not about the kids. You're my family now, Roscoe. Honey, and the whole amount of distance is gonna change that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what my father said, and look how that turned oh, out. come on, you know I'm always gonna be here for you. I'll always be but here. But what, you're here for me, but you're not here for me. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. You said that you would be my family, and the first chance you get to prove that, you're just going to leave Victoria, me. Victoria, I love you, honey, but I need to go. I'll come back, and, and everything will be like it always has been. Well, if you're going, then why should I throw away my shot of continuing to act on Broadway to be with you? I never said you should do that. I was just trying to get across that we can talk about it when your contract's done. But why do we have to talk about what I should do? Because that's what a family does. But then why are you choosing to leave me without any notice? My situation is different. How? 
Going on tour is all I have wanted for the longest time, and I was willing to consider giving it up to be with you. So why is your dream any different than mine? Do it if you want to, okay? Then I'm not gonna stop you. Okay, I'll tell Max first thing tomorrow that I'll do the tour. If that's what makes you happy, then do it, all right? But don't do it just to spite me, okay? This is something I've wanted since as long as I can remember, okay? I need to do it. Are you sure this is what you want? Because not even an hour ago you were going on about how you want to start to settle down. I want you, but this is something I've dreamed of since as long as I can remember, Victoria. There comes a time in every person's life, the fork in the road, two life-changing choices that are side by side, and at some point you gotta grab the wheel and turn. And what if you choose the wrong side of well, the road? Well, then that's my decision and I'll have to live but with it. But it seems like you didn't even consider the other side of the road, though. Come on, that's absurd for you to think I didn't take you into account when deciding. Maybe you did, but apparently those 120 pages are more important God, to you than taking me. Taking all of this out of context. Not really, you chose the script over me, isn't that right? No, it's just I would rather go than sit my whole life wondering about what could have been. Come on, I have the chance to make something great here. Can't you see that? I hope that when you're looking back on this moment, you don't have that feeling in your gut that you're missing out on something you can no longer Not have. like I'm breaking up with you. You might as well be, since you're just going to be leaving. Victoria, no matter where I am, I'll still love you, OK? And we'll still be together. When I come back, nothing has to change. Maybe I won't be here when you come back. Oh, there's the car. Guy, guy, good to see you. My friend. Great show last night, Tori. Thanks. You got it? Yeah. Any word from Oliver? Not yet, but the tickets are booked. And the plane is ready. Ah. Good to hear. Appreciate it. Hey, please be that guy. Oh, you get a place to catch. Come on. Okay, okay, just just a moment, please. Well, I guess this is this is goodbye for now. I'll make sure to stop by and call after every shoot. Wait, wait. Um, this summer has been some of the best months of my life and I'm not ready for you to leave me yet. Stay here with me in New York and we can work all of this out together. Victoria, hon, I, I have to go. I have to peruse this script. I don't know if there's ever going to be another opportunity like this. No, 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 like but this. I've been thinking, and I know how much this movie means to you, but I know how this long distance thing goes. It's not too bad in the beginning, but then, you know, we start getting busy, and then we're on different schedules, and then we miss calling, and then we have I'm no time. I'm going to call you every day. If you stay here, we can make this movie. I could talk to Max about helping produce. You know, I have connections too, you know. Most importantly, we'll be here together. And that's all that matters. I want our future to start now. Hey, look, it could be that guy, but uh, get a plane to catch. Come on, schedules. God damn it, Roscoe! I love you. <laughs> I love you more than I've ever loved anyone else, and I just want to be with you. I love you too, and I want to be with you. Forget this. We can elope. I don't care if it's just us there. You're the only family I need. Okay, this is really cute and all, but we have a plan to catch. Oliver Simons, the biggest producer in Hollywood, is waiting for us. 